Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the greatest scam I've ever seen, uh, the Monthly Magic Box. The Monthly Magic Box was uh, a service and I'll explain why it's so scammy and I actually talked to one of the friends of the person who ran it and I actually have a photo of him as well as like account information on the PayPal, like how many times he didn't send out in those and that's in a video that I made a long time ago. Uh, the reason I'm bringing back the monthly magic box discussion is it's been long enough. I think people are not going to be as offended when I talk about it. People were extremely offended when I talked about it previously and now it's been long enough. Plus a Reddit post just came up that they're still charging people automatically for a box that is never coming. Monthly magic box was a good concept. It was just ran very poorly and I knew there would be problems. Uh, first of all, they paid, they didn't pay, sorry, they did not pay. I have talked to people and they have not paid, but they have given free boxes ahead of schedule, ahead of when a regular person would receive the box, I know that for a fact, to YouTube personalities, uh, Twitter personalities, uh, to 15 to 20 different YouTubers, if you will, or YouTube personalities online in Magic or hobbies like Magic. And they said, oh, just do a review of it and we're going to send you a box every month. It's not going to cost you money. The reason I felt at the very beginning I should have addressed the issue was the box contents. After two months into it, I realized everything was from Dave and Adams. Uh, Dave and Adams uh, being a website that sells very cheap supplies and everything was on Dave and Adams discounted heavily. So by definition, these are supplies that people don't want. So... Um, I'll pull out one of the most popular items that people were telling me were $20. I don't know how they got $20. I think the highest price I've ever seen this for was $12.99. So this, one, one day, uh, Dave and Adams had this on sale for $2 and let's see what's in here. Wow, it's pretty. Oh, my, um, yeah, the tension spirits. What a, oh, this is the Arzurius file. Um, but I, I buy these because they're very cheap. They were like $2.19 and you can buy a ton of them and they never sold out until one day this guy and how many boxes did he sell? He was selling, he was making about ten to $15,000 a month selling about 500 boxes. I assume uh, monthly magic boxes. He was also giving out about 20 free monthly magic boxes and I work in marketing. You don't give free stuff out just because you want to be nice. You give it out because you're hoping that it's going to be a four to 10 times return on the investment. So if he's, if he has to spend $10 on, and the monthly magic box with shipping probably costs around $10. The card sleeves that people are saying were like $12.99 were actually $2.99 or I think they were $1.99 on Dave and Adams until, so whenever like he buys stuff, the price jumps because there's less of it. But uh, essentially, I knew the model would not work because he was paying people, not paying, sorry. He was giving boxes and not charging for those boxes to YouTube personalities, online personalities, and they were saying good stuff about the boxes, which I knew was not exactly, I had a, I mean, if someone's going to give you a free box of magic products, wouldn't you want to say something good about them so you can get the next month? and the next month, and the next month. So some of these prices where they said, oh, it was a very excellent deal, they were putting this at like $10. And you can watch the videos, like, I mean, I don't know if they took them down, but um, I did heavily criticize that this was not $10, this was $2 on Dave and Adams. The problem was the guy purchased every single item from Dave and Adams heavily discounted, on the heavily discounted uh, page. Eventually, he was going to run out of items. And that's what happened and that's how the monthly magic if you want to know about the truth about the magic the monthly magic box i had a discussion with the guy i saw the again there's a video on my channel about the paypal and all that issue um as well as you know how much money did he actually make out of it that i knew was not going to work because he couldn't buy he couldn't continue to buy supplies for a very low amount of money and still make money still make profit because eventually he would have purchased, and he did, Dave and Adams would have ran out of these, you know, $10 products for $2. And what would he do then? And that was something that I wanted to address. And But at the time, you know, I was saying, oh, you're just being negative because you didn't receive 
a monthly magic box and I'm very grateful I didn't because I don't know what I would have done I might have supported it I might have made stuff up or probably not because like Dave and Adams like again I buy so much stuff uh sports collectibles from Dave and Adams it just came off as very I immediately knew within two months that something was very wrong with his business model because he was going to run out of product right you cannot continue to buy these very expensive products for two dollars if David Adams has sold out all of them to you. Now, the marketing was pure, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, again, you do not do not pay someone, you do not give, send someone product to review and not at least hope you're gonna make four to 10 times the profit. So if he's gonna give a $10 worth of product to someone, he's hoping he's gonna sell four to 10 boxes. And eventually he got to 500 boxes and he's still automatically charging. And that's, very, that's the most scary part about it is he has your PayPal information and he can automatically charge you. Would you really want to give your credit card to someone like this? Uh, because the people receiving the free boxes did not. And that's what I've always said. If I like something, I'll pay for it. I will absolutely pay for it, which brings me to uh, Ink Playmats. Ink Playmats, they did not pay me anything. I don't care. They did a really good job on these playmats. Um, and I don't know why I'm saying Ink Playmats, but if some, Dave and Adams I love to death as well, but if I like something, I'm gonna pay using my own money to buy it. And then I'll tell you guys, hey, I like it. So Ink Playmats, I got 20% off discount, which I posted on my Facebook, but that was for everyone. I loved it. They had great customer service. I, it came pretty fast and uh, the quality was very high, so I would use them again. But I wouldn't have Ink Playmats give me free stuff and then make a review on it, if that makes any sense, right? Bye, guys.